Hi. This is probably the first time. No, it is the first time that I've ever recorded anything. And it's probably the last time that I'm ever going to do it. Maybe. I don't know. I never use my voice in the video. But this is something that I do want to talk about. And I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to show, show off quite a lot of it. Um, I'm going to be talking about or showing all of you the newest update for the Battle Cruisers game. Which is something I've been following for a little bit and somewhat involved in. Just watching development for it and stuff, and interacting with the developers and other fans in the Discord server. And it's a game that I'm really fond of. And it's uh, it's just a little indie game. I think it's made by two or three people. It's made by a Mecha Weka. I probably butchered the hell out of that Mecha Weka Game Studio. They're based in New Zealand. Really cool guys, all of them. And uh, a few days ago, they released the Ultra Marginally Improved Edition. That is verbatim what it is called. And it's added quite a few things to the game. Uh, some of them really, really cool. And I just, I just want to spread the word about this game and give my thoughts on everything. And yes, I have already played the content in the new update. You can see my rank up there is Private 07. So, I, I've obviously played through some of the content, or, yeah, I have, and, uh, I'll go over some of the new things. First of all, brand new UI, I'm, uh, I'm a huge fan of it, honestly, I think it looks great. Uh, no new cruisers, yet, that's, uh, probably gonna be in the future, but, um, I mean, all of them just look really good, this game looks amazing, it's got a really nice style, and, uh, and the last one I was using was the Rock Jaw. Uh, it builds offenses faster. But I'm a fan of the Eagle because it builds production structures faster. Um, I'm a fan of the Longbow just because it looks really cool. Megalodon, everybody uses that just because it, it's probably the best one. I mean, it's got 10 deck slots. Um, I'm a fan of that, of the Raptor. The fact that it builds shields faster. But it does only have one big platform. Um, I'll do. I'll, I'll try the bull shark because I've actually never used that cruiser. Oh, I accidentally compared. Oops. There we go. Select. And uh, there's new builder stations. Uh, first, there was just the your only options for economy and building were the base drone station and your ultra weapon here, the ultra list, which gives you 30 builder drones, which is insanity. Uh, on the bigger ships like the Longbow and Megalodon, you could get two ultra lists in an air factory and just spam the hell out of bombers. There's pretty much no amount of SAM sites would stop that. You'd basically, I think your only option to counter that would be to destroy the ultra lists before they could be built or target the air factory. Um, but now there's the 4Z drone station, which appears to take twice as long to build, but it does have more health. And it comes with four builder drones compared to the two that this gives you. This one takes even longer to build, more health, and it comes with eight uh, drone stations. So I guess if you don't want to build an ultra list, but you still want to have a better economy later game, you could destroy your 4Z or 2Zs and build eight Z drones. I mean, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, there's no, I don't know what you call these defensive structures. There's no new ones yet. But uh, there are two new uh, offensive big weapons. There's the MLRS, which shoots uh, big swarms of rockets. I really like it. They don't do very much damage, and they're very inaccurate. But they're fun as hell to watch. And uh, I do like just bombardment weapons in any game where you can just constantly just munitions everywhere. And, uh, I will, I'll keep this one a secret for now, this bottom one. Um, no new tacticals, uh, no new ultras. I am a huge fan of this ultra, though, it's, it's the coolest. Um, there is a new ship that you can build called the Attack Rifle Infantry Boat. I like the little robots holding what appear to be assault rifles on it. And, um... I've only used it once, and I found it to be rather pretty powerful. I mean, they take a little bit to build, and they, uh, but they don't require very many drones, and they will they'll screw stuff up. And equally powerful are the new steam copters. I'm not sure if they're called that because maybe they're steam powered. 
Howard, or maybe because the game's on Steam. I don't know, but I do like the name Steam, and they, they do look like a vaguely steampunk design. But um, they take absolutely forever to build, and they take 10 drones. But I mean, all their stats are pretty average. But they, uh, you get those in a swarm, and it's just, it's game over for the other one. I mean, they're they're pretty fun to use. And, all the new content at least in the loadout section but i won't continue because i forgot where i'm at but i'll show some of the new levels here um the game previously when it was released ended with president tron who appears to have his um old design brought back uh i guess but i remember before he looked kind of i don't know basic and because Apparently, at one point, he looked like this. He looked like uh, Mr. Donald Trump. And I, uh, this is just a guess, or at least from the limited things that I've heard, that the Donald Trump design had some kind of controversy or backlash around it. I might be completely wrong, but it was changed, and it appears now that it's back. And he's, he's beautiful, isn't he? That's where the game ended before, but now we've got, uh, we, we have five extra levels starting with King Koopa and ending with Huntress Prime. And Huntress, I believe, is fought four times through the campaign. There's Huntress 1. Um, there she is again. It's either 3 or 4. Um, there's Huntress again. And then there she is again. Okay, so yeah, this is the fifth time that you will fight her, Huntress Prime. And, uh... These stars mark the difficulty. I'm a little baby and I'm playing on easy, but let's change that right now. I'm not a little baby. I can do normal, right? I hope so. Um, we'll we'll start with the new levels at uh, 27 with King Koopa. I don't know if or Kappa. I don't know if that's a reference to Bowser, but we'll see. And I have always loved the pre-battle dialogue in this game. I've always found it to be hilarious. I don't always get the references, but, um, oh, and they gave Charlie eyes. I, uh, I like it. It's cute. But, let's see here. King Koopa says, Scram, puny bot. The sign says, no junk allowed. Then what are you doing here? Looks like the scrapyard came online and started steering a ship. Yeah, Charlie just throws smoke at everybody. <laughs> I like it. He, he just, he's just an asshole. But... There it is, the ultra marginally improved edition, as I said, and I like the music. Uh, that is something that I've expressed my thoughts about before, is the music in this game is, it's phenomenal, it's really good, but I should probably stop pushing and actually build something. And again, those 4Z or 8Z drone stations would be really good options for a ship like this that has, you know, not a lot of utility slots. That's, I think that's why I didn't use this cruiser very much, is because it has very few utility slots compared to the... Yeah, this one has seven. I've got four, but... I don't know. I think I've got this. I hope so. If I get obliterated, I might change it back to easy just for the sake of the recording. But... Let's speed it up here. And the backgrounds too, the backgrounds all look really excellent. I'm just I just really like this game. I know you got nothing to do. I know you got nothing to do. The drone station to build. I, I like the voices too that the drones have. But the A Z drone station. I probably should have started building a shield before I put that up. Um Oh, we got nothing to do. Okay, so this guy's put up a stealth generator, which means I can't see what he's doing until I build the satellite. I'll put it right oh, right here. Because I uh, like to have rather good placement for my shields. Stack them like that. Wow, this cruiser is really lacking on slots for just about everything, isn't it? And the music kicked up. That's not good. Oh, okay, well I was keeping the weapon secret, but looks like he's not going to keep it secret. Uh, this is the Gatling Mortar. It's rather terrible, as you can see. 
uh, it basically just kind of screwed up everything I had going over here. And there it goes again. It's literally just a Gatling that fires a lot of shells, all of which are, uh, I didn't think the AI would start building those. Uh, I don't think this fight's gonna work out. I'm not sure what to do. Uh, is he firing again? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna wait for those shells. Oh, no, the enemy is building an ultra. Oh, he's building an ultra too, is he? Orbital laser, sweet. That's more stuff to deal with. I'm a bit stuck. I will try to build the shields before he can fire at me again. Maybe I can get it to happen. Oh, it's not gonna happen. Oh, is my shield gonna make it through? Yep. Alright, sweet. Maybe this, this will give me a fighting chance. Oh. Uh, here comes the portable satellite. Wow, he's really... I'm getting a bit messed up. Maybe I am a little baby and I can't do normal difficulty. Okay. Oh, here's the satellite. That satellite is... It's ruthless. I... I don't know what to do. Um, you know, I'll see how he likes it. Destroyed my satellite. Can't see what he's doing. Though. It appears the satellite, uh, his satellite, uh, orbital satellite, is just targeting my cruisers. So that's kind of good. He's not targeting specific structures. Makes me love that. Okay. No. But it is at half health. So. Interesting. We all on it. This is not going well for me. I'm not too sure what to do. Maybe I can, if I can get a satellite build, maybe I can try to get on it. Because you can't target. Oh, that looks cool. I, I, I do like the visual effects in this game. Too. They're, all, they're all extremely good. I think I've lost this fight. About when that satellite hits again, it's gonna get me. So I guess I'll go out with a bang. I'm just waiting for it. Yeah, he's got shields everywhere. It's over. Right. Well, I um, didn't actually expect to lose that fight so terribly oh well just for the sake of the recording so i don't have to repeat the same fight over and over i'll i'll put it on easy but i know i'm a baby but let's try this again oh, i should have changed my cruiser hmm. it's all right i'll make do because i don't believe i've ever won a fight with this cruiser I, i've hardly even used it and i do like its design like I said earlier, all the cruisers in this game look really good. I'm gonna speed it up. And I don't know if the music tracks for the campaign levels are randomized or not. I believe they're set. Because I think every time that Huntress is fought, except for Huntress Prime, she plays the, uh, juggernaut track from the ost which is really good as well again all the music in this game just it's it's uh, I, I i can't put it into words no nothing i say will justify justify excuse me how good this music is but uh again i'm gonna sacrifice a builder station i don't want to waste as much time not building so i will do just four z's for now and if I have the resources later game, I'll build eight Z's. But with that being said, 
Um, again, I'm a real fan of the new UI. The only thing that I would change about it is health bars are uh, rather... Actually, they're probably the most important feature of the UI, and they're kind of just shoved down here. Hey, we got nothing to do! Um, I, I was a much bigger fan of them in the earlier versions of the game, where they were up here in the corners. But, that's an opinion. Um, to each their own. Uh, I've got all my shields up, so... I'm gonna build AZs. While, I'm, while I've still got defenses going. He doesn't appear to be building much right now. Hell, he just covered his ship in defensive charge before he even started building drones. And uh, let me tell you, these new drone stations, hey, we got nothing to do. they're pretty cool. Maybe this cruiser ain't so bad. I do like that it's, uh... I do like how small it is, that gives a lot more protection from these shields because, you know, they're kind of closely packed. When that blast radius hits, it'll... Hell, I don't know what I'm saying. Oh, I just like that my do. shields are so closely packed. That might actually be a bad thing since blast radius might damage more than one of them at once, but I like it. It makes me feel safe. So, I need a spy satellite. I don't know what to build in this last slot. I'll do a, uh... A booster, uh, just boost that shield, why not? Because I'm gonna put all my offenses. Hey, we got nothing to do! How you doing over here? He's building Tesla coils, so rocket launchers are out of the question. Um, I'll do the Gatling mortar. And. Oh wow, that builds fast. Do the Gatling mortar and two artillery. Shell the crap out of him, why not? And, uh, that's a- God, look at that thing go. That's another thing I love about this soundtrack, it's, uh, dynamic. When a weapon is built of any kind, or someone's cruiser gets low, then extra instruments are added onto the currently playing track. I would just call them danger instruments, but, uh, hey, it, it's great. I, I'm How just a really big fan of it. And, uh, again, like I said, the visual effects all look so great. I like the all the sparks coming from the builders and the explosions, the sparks that come from the shields when they fail. It's, it's all really good. And... Ah, just look at that. The water splashes, too. And it looks like the... I might be losing my mind, but I think there's water physics. That water kind of rippled waved a bit when those shells hit. Let me look. No, it definitely does. Look at that. I actually never noticed that until now. That's, that's really cool. But, yeah, this guy is basically done. Here comes Armageddon. Oh, we're not. I already got it. Yeah, especially the cruiser sinking. It looks so all these explosions and stuff are randomly generated. And this is brand new, and I'm a really big fan of it. Um, your, your kills, I guess you could call them, are all tallied up, and the estimated cost of them is shown, added to the total damage you've caused, and it's got this really cool looking, just flaming background. It looks awesome. And this music too. This is also on the OSC, I believe the track is called Experimental. Here the schematics for a steam copter, Captain. It's not pretty, but it does have an oversized gun and a 60% chance of not exploding on takeoff. I like those odds. I believe that's just a joke. I don't think that actually happens in game. That'd be pretty mean if 40% of the time your steam copter just blows up when you take off with it. I'm not sure. But I already have the steam copter, so we'll go to the next battle. And this guy's named Chimothy. How did you find this place? All Antarctic ports are private property. You degenerate piece of hardware. Ooh, he's 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 mean. He's real mean. You seem angry. Has the cold water affected your private ports? 
maybe it has. I mean, we don't know. That's new too, that little sound effect when you hit battle. Okay, this is the Juggernaut track, and I really like it. Uh, hell, I like all the tracks. I'm just repeating myself at this point, but... I'm fighting an Eagle. Uh, I really like this cruiser. It's got faster building production structures, like I pointed out earlier, but I'm gonna pause it actually so I'm not wasting time. Um, the only thing that I think is the biggest weakness about it is, again, it's one-star health. Um, but the fact that all these utility bays right here are clustered up, if something comes in and hits it right there, it will destroy all your builder bays. And that just, that as it is, just cripples. Um, I don't, I doubt everyone uses this strategy, but what I do is usually, once I get enough drones, I just place everything that I want built immediately, and, um, go from there. So, what I'm gonna do this time is, he's probably gonna build a stealth gen, so, I'm gonna put a satellite here, and a booster here, that I wanna put on this, uh, on these big platforms. I don't think I need any mass towers, I don't usually use them, I guess a stealth generator, why not? Make him waste a uh, deck slot on a stealth gen. Oh, oops. Made a bit of a mistake there. Hold on. There we go. Accidentally got a bit overzealous and destroyed more uh, base than I needed to. I... Oh. Well, that's not good. My hands are scratched. Gonna need some defenses. So those deep copters will be I should be okay as long as uh, as long as those steam copters don't pile up. On me. Uh, it looks like they got it. Okay, they're down. That should give my shield some time to recuperate. I could send some fighters in the air too with an air factory. That's. Uh, Hell, I don't think I'll need them. Those Sam sites are. Those Sam sites are mean. I guess that means I can scrap this one and put a stealth gem back or spice satellite back up there. Okay, doing good so far. Owner's ready! Comes another steam pump. And there goes another steam pump. Hey, we got nothing to do! Alright. So, I'm not sure what to do. Uh, I'm gonna put two more eights in, because I've got time. Speed it up a bit. I love these things. These are a great new addition, the new eights. Oh! Well, that's not good. Right, we got nothing to do. Okay. Well, in that case, I know what I'm gonna do. He's got a destroyer on me right now. And, uh, those things are very annoying. And if my shields can hold out, I'm gonna get gunships in the air to get rid of them. Gunships are going to destroy naval vessels, so they'll, they'll pile up there. And get They should take care of those destroyers. Um, a minor complaint that I think it's getting pretty loud. A minor complaint that I have is that if you've got time sped up and you're building aircraft really quickly, that that spawn sound right there, it gets a little bit great, but fly by breeze. Um, I guess we'll I need to do something about that. Maybe I'm back. I'm 
I say that... Why don't I get my own team platforms? I think I've got enough gun chips. a really good fight. Those are the kind of fights that you play this game for. MLRS stands for Multiple Launch Rocket System. CYFD stands for Charger uh, Drones. We did literally all the construction in that last battle. Berries on 2%. Well, that's unfortunate for Barry. And this is the next guy. I love this guy. Um, he's very handsome, as you can tell. His name is Kentron. And Charlie's wondering, is he eating a squirrel bot? And Kentron says, sir, this is a mustache, the finest gentleman's adornment, whose honor I am bound to defend in a duel, to the death. He appears to be in a longbow, and I just, isn't he handsome? He's beautiful. And, um, I wonder if he's related at all. There's a, a bonus track in the OST called Kentient, or a Kentient, however you'd say that. Maybe this guy's related to it, because if you've heard the track, it... It, it fits him. It's kind of like a bowling pin, doesn't he? Anyway. Fight against a longbow should be interesting. Oh, okay, he's rushing. This track is called, uh... I believe this, this one is called Nothing. It's a good one. I, I really like the longbow. It is... It is fittingly long. It's a very long bow. So, when I first played this update, um, this guy was... This is just a little theory I had, but I thought it was funny. Um, when Before this update, there was a really popular strategy to basically just cheese the crap out of any fight, and it was to do exactly what Kentron's doing right now rush with an attack boat and just have the attack boat stick to the front of the ship and the AI would constantly just build a ship turret and have this ship turret destroyed and then just rebuild it, have it destroyed, rebuild it, have it destroyed and just loop like this. Here, here he comes. God, he's fast. So, um, yeah. But this was a strategy that you could use to cheese practically any fight and I don't think it's viable anymore. But, um, I had a little, just a funny theory that this guy's talking about like this auto and everything that he's gonna do, and he just uses this cheap strategy against you that everybody used. I might be completely off the mark, but I think it's funny. And it's, <laughs> you can't tell it's actually working. Um, I'm trying to build mortars right now. That's not going very well. Oh, that has been significantly compromised. They're all on it. They're all on it. I, uh... I'm trying to out-heal them. Oh, okay. I might actually be able to do that if he stops rushing. I believe he's quit. He has not quit. Well, his strategy's working. If I, uh, if I can get a shield build, that'll, that'll put a stop to those attack waves. 
unless he starts building frigates. Right. Uh. It's a bit of. Oh, me. Get all on it. Uh, yeah, I need all of you to get on it faster. Shield. Are ready. Frigates are a bit. Oh, uh, well, I'm gonna be in big trouble if he starts building destroyers. But. Water ready. He doesn't seem to be very focused on that. Okay, I'm gonna repair. Um, I'm gonna build a Gatling mortar. And... Broadside. Last cannon. Now I'm just gonna go full offense. What is attacking me? Oh! Bombers. Well, that's not good. Focusing. Especially my builder base would be. Okay, this is an issue. Uh. I don't know what to do. Maybe I can get fighters built. We got nowhere else to build. Do you have someone to build right there? We got nowhere else to build. We got nowhere else to build. Okay, I guess building doesn't work if you're paused. Uh, okay. How about this? That didn't go well. We're gonna try this again. See if I can get ship turrets built early on, that'd be really nice. So, I want to see if ship turrets work everywhere, because that'd be cool if they do. You can build them everywhere now in previous Order's versions. Ready. Um, ship defense weapons like the mortar and ship turret could only be built on the front uh, front two deck slots, and it was annoying. So I'm glad that's fixed. Ship turret ready. Here he comes. Ship pirate ready. Ship pirate ready. Owner's ready. Focusing. If I can get, a, if I should have built a shield earlier, that would have. Owner's helped. ready. So get a shield belt, and shield. now those attack ones can't touch me. Actually, knowing that he's gonna pull aircraft on me later. I should just get SAM sites built now, so I'll be ready for him. I think there's a frigate coming. No, he's still doing the attack, but I like that little piston animation. I like to see it's, it's just really nice. What am I doing? Oh, I'm just repairing. Well, please repair faster. <laughs> I need more builders. Took you that long to hit him? All right. Same site ready. Oh, we got nothing okay. to do. So I'm a slightly better defended now. Let's try this again. Gatling mortar. Las can. I'll do two las cannons because the lasers look really good. Looks like the frigates are here now. Just trade and fire back and forth. Goodbye. I like the sinking effects too, they look really good. I don't think there's a visual effect in this game that I don't like. All of them are really good. There's our mortar. Oh wait, I want to- Ah, oh, crap, I missed it. I want to see that thing firing in slow motion. I always forget there's a slow motion in this game. Okay, let's get rid of that. Okay, I want to see this thing. 
Oh, look at that animation. It's really good. I love it so much. I want to see this thing firing in slow motion, please. God, that looks good. Animation in this game is excellent, too. It, it's such a unique art style. So there's the danger instruments for this track. That uh, weird little sweep synth in the background. I think there's a background piano, but I'm not sure. There it goes. Oh, that's so cool. I love this weapon. Get him. God, just look at all the shells. I don't, I don't know how much damage they do each. I don't think they all do as much damage as a normal mortar, mortar, mortar shell, but... Okay, that was a bad idea targeting the ship factory. Because now they all just miss. Are my last cannons built yet? Oh, they're about to be. Now imagine if the firing sound of that Gatling mortar was the same as the normal mortar. That sounds terrifying. Anyway, how's it? Oh, you having fun over here yet? Call goody. Let's get rid of that before he gets bombers on me. I know the last cannons can't hit it. Maybe the maybe the Gatling mortar can. Oh, there's a bomber. Wait, what if he flies into the shells? Will they destroy him? Oh. Oh crap, wait. Oh, just barely. He just barely escaped. Because there's a... Uh, I believe it's one of Fraz's videos. He made the content for the game. Really good content. Uh, I'm a fan. Oh. Ah, uh, never mind. Missed it again. But, uh, he... There's a death... Uh, oh, goodbye. And I do like the longbow death animation because it splits in half. Like that. But, um... In, I believe one of Fraz's videos, uh, the enemy was launching a orbital satellite, and as it's launching from the ship, uh, artillery shell just happens to hit it, and it just goes spinning just into the ocean, and it's, it's great, it's hilarious. I think that ended up in the uh, trailer for the game. That guy had a robot wife and five robot kids. He was on his way home. Charlie, are you sure we're the good guys? So, a bit of story. I mean, are we? Mr. Williams, congratulations, my little puppet. You've made it to the final boss. Classified weapon schematics from around the world brought right to my doorstep by a basic utility bot who's too lazy to secure his Wi-Fi. Foreshadowing. You're the third final boss I've run into. How many more are there after you? Well, there's actually one more after you, Mr. Williams. I think. So far. Uh, this track is Confusion. I really like it. I'm a really big fan of the cruisy variant of this track in the OST because it has rain sounds. Background looks good too, the big moon. And uh, I like the ambience when you zoom out. It's just, this game's presentation is on point. I love it so much. I could gush about this game for hours. I mean, I don't know how long I've been gushing. I'd alt tab to see, but no thanks. Right. Fighting a Megalodon, again. Um. I don't know what strat I should go for this time. I... I think what I'm gonna do is spawn a naval factory and build the attack rifle infantry boats, because I want to mess with those. We'll see what they can do. Even though I have already seen. It was only once, so... I might as well just put that there now and get my shields ready. Spy satellite. It's so good. Oda's ready. It's so good. I love it. The piano, it's just. I could gush about the soundtrack equally as long as I could gush about the game. So I wonder if the booster works on naval factories. I guess we're about to see. Naval factory ready. What the booster does is uh, it just boosts the abilities of structures directly next to it. So shields will get better recharge rates, a uh, gun will fire faster, you know, etc. How are we doing over here? Okay, very slow. 
think it, I'm gonna sacrifice a drone station for an 8Z. I think I can afford to do that. This game feels so calm during moments like these, and then it just very quickly gets not calm. But something about the atmosphere of this game, it, it really draws me in. It's extremely captivating. Uh, I believe I'll shut up for a few seconds and let you, let you guys listen to the music. At least until something interesting starts happening. I did it again. There's the danger instruments for confusion. Again, really good. I, I, and I do love that, like, jet, whatever the hell it is, effect on the M MLRS after the fire. As you can see, after the fire is often. Oh, I need that. I need Sam Sites. I messed up with those, uh, I messed up with those drone stations and I took too long. Now he's definitely got the building ultra, and I can't see what it is. Alright, I'm gonna build the attack modes. I just lost one of my launchers. This is gonna be close. Come on, get it built. Uh oh. Get him. Blow him up. This ain't good. Now I'm just gonna fast forward. We'll see what happens. He's stacking up destroyers. Well, this is getting exciting, isn't it? Oh, uh, that's not good. We need to get rid of that. He's building broadsides. My naval factory is gone. I'm just trying to focus on getting these AC transmissions up so I can get gunships up. If I get gunships in the air, I can get rid of these rolls. Oh, this is gonna be rough. There goes my air factory. And his broadsides are up. This fight's over. I screwed up with those drone stations. With messing up these drone stations back here, it's over. Right. Good job, Mr. Williams. Alright, hurry up and kill me. Don't let me languish in my shame for too long, please. Is he just gonna savor my death? There you go.
military strategic retreat. Right. I believe I'm going to change cruisers. I like the rock jaw a lot. I haven't played much with the hammerhead. Let's try it. Okay. Looks like the hammerheads kind of got eagle syndrome with those, um, clustering those builder bays together. And I just wrote all those for a reason. I've got a better idea. Hey, we got nothing to do. Let's try that. They're going to take twice as long, but twice as many builders, so. Alright. I'm not sure what to do. Um, gonna put a shield, a shield, and a shield. Okay. I think I've got an idea of what I want to do now. That thing is so huge, I love it. Water ready. Water ready. Water ready. We're all on it. I want to get gunships in the air before he can, before he can get um any kind of ships after me. Or no, I've got mortars to defend against ships, so I'm gonna put fighters in here. All right, let's see how this goes. Oh, he's sending up fighters too. This will be interesting. He's firing something at me. I believe it's just a basic artillery battery. I've actually never seen two fighters go at it in this game. Got like dog fights going on up there. Oh, there goes one. That's so cool. I've never seen that before. Because the AI almost never builds fighters. I believe I've got enough fighters in the air, so I'm gonna send some offense back in the colleges. He's building an ultra, I need faster. We're gonna do bombers instead. Funny that uh, this cruiser has faster building naval factories and ships, and I'm just building airplanes. <laughs> Five aircraft and they're worth 1.35 billion dollars. Oh hell, that's actually accurate. Who refers to themselves as the final boss? Almost everyone to me, apparently. And here's our actual final boss, Huntress Prime. Notice I'm using your trident schematics thanks to your unsecured Wi-Fi. Experimental weapon systems booting up. Enjoy your last five minutes in the sun, Charlie.
Okay, but why would I wait for your weapons to put up? Might I note that Huntress Prime looks badass. I love her. But anyway, here's our final battle. And, um, playing my favorite track in the soundtrack, Monkey, with a bit of extra instrumentation that you don't hear in the OST. And it's not leading up to anything at all. I promise, there's nothing going on. See, I will show you that there's nothing going on. A regular Trident Cruiser, nothing to see here. Ignore the fact that she has 5-star health and 8,000 build time and only one builder drone and you know that that's coming out of it there's nothing going on at all nothing is going to happen oh i did it again okay i don't have time to waste oh, we got nothing to do. ignore the weird sounds going on ignore that there's nothing happening I'm really scared right now. No reason. I'm not scared. There's nothing going on. I'm I just uh I'm just scared right now for no reason. You know, that is a normal thing that Trident class battle creatures do. It's a design feature. Yep. Nothing to see here. I'm not sure what to use against her. I definitely want to get a Gatling Mortar on her early to get damage going. Um, actually, I know what I'm going to do, and that, that I'm going to stack up on shields. Can't build the nuke here, by the way. Uh, the nuke is an ultra that takes forever to build, but once it's built, it fires a missile that insta-kills the other cruiser. Yep, there is absolutely nothing going on. Those are not spider legs. This is normal. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not gonna keep it up any longer. It's like trying to tell... It's like China trying to tell people that nothing happened in Tiananmen Square. It... This is b bad. Oh, is ready. very bad i don't know what to do actually um i want to use a strategy that i haven't used against her yet why don't i just broadside her let's try that please get those shields up faster um so since i've got everything built and ready i'm just gonna watch her um do ignore the fact that the trident cruiser is lifting out of the water and when I first thought this boss, I thought like a laser was gonna come out from under it or something. That uh, nope. we're about to see. Oh, <laughs> it's so cool! And again, with the with my favorite track in the whole soundtrack, the build up for this fight is so goddamn amazing. Get those shields up, please. Oh, I might not be able to outbuild her. It's okay. Here it comes. Here it comes. I love it so much. Oh, this will never not be exciting. Right. Um, I would like to tell... Would like to uh, take this moment to say that... Um, everything is indeed not okay. We are about to die. It's so cool. And now she's firing the Gatling mortar at us. All right, let's see what happens. Come on, hold out, hold out. Come on, shields. Oh, I'm taking hits. I just lost two shields, three shields. I forgot, she, uh, she fires a lot longer. Okay. I'm very scared right now. I'm just gonna see if I can get the broadside to build. That's all I need. Oh, I think she's about to fire again. Yep. Oh 
my god, it's so cool. Here it comes. God, it's like a storm. Look at the smoke coming out too. I'm genuinely terrified right now. There she goes, she's firing again. Oh, please get those broadsides built. I just lost my only offensive weapon, so... My only hope is these broadsides. Which are currently taking hits. Please don't fire again. Okay, I got one side. I got one broadside. I have no shields right now. And she's firing again, so my only hope is to destroy her before she destroys me. Come on! Oh god, it's gonna be close! Come on! Come on, broadsides! Yes! Okay. It's over. I am now a corporal. And, uh... Well, it's ending time. At least, temporary ending time. She was the final boss, after all. No worries. Only 4 out of 10 drones reckon that was too intense. The other 6 drones are conspicuously missing. Wait, missile incoming, cat. Animated cutscenes in this game for the first time, and it, it's so good. I won't say anything, just watch this cutscene. Sassy snap, whatever the hell she does, and uh, here's the credits. And it's just such a cool game. And uh, Pete, really cool guy, by the way. He's just awesome. And I love how he's credited for the explosions and enthusiasm. And the good ideas. And I do see a lot of enthusiasm. <laughs> Not catastrophic feature creep. I see a lot of that. such a cool game honestly and I just I know this video is kind of off the cuff and obviously unscripted and I don't, I don't do none of that I just really wanted to talk about this game because I love it a lot I just love it and I wanted to spread the word about it to uh, my very limited user base to just you know, frazz that's who I was talking about and uh, there's me I'm in the special thanks which Honestly, it, it's just so cool, but there's me. And the dog. Howard Wolfington. You're welcome. I knew it was in the credits. That was in the credits on the first version of the game. Wait, that's new, actually. That wasn't there before. When I first played through this game, me and my friend cracked up at that. The you're welcome at the end of the credits. It's just so great. This entire game is... It's just something. Really, it's... I love it a lot, and I can't wait to see where it goes. So, that's really all I wanted to talk about. So, I don't know. Have a good day, everyone.